Uh, greetings all my fellow Aquarius. How are you today? And let's jump right into our reading. And welcome to Ingrid's Insights. And my name is Ingrid and I'll be doing our reading for today. And let's see what it is that's on the horizon for Aquarius. And thank you all out there for subscribing to my channel and helping it grow. And that way I can get this information out to those who need it. And I see that uh, trust the universe is coming for Aquarius because we're entering a whole new a timeline, a whole new vibrational field. And we're coming into that now as we come into May. And to be aware of uh, the power and intention of your thoughts right now because thoughts are things, we create that. So it's time to eliminate anything that's toxic uh, from our minds, from our relationships from our diet, from our whatever we're taking in, and to release, declutter, let go of things we don't need, simplify. <clears throat> and that um, will take time to be vulnerable. That leads to our freedom. When we allow that vulnerability to let go of things that are no longer s serving us, we become in touch with that freedom that is innate to all of us. That's why we're here. And we need to take a step back right now to a feel um, into all of this energy that we're going through. Because there's a lot happening for Aquarius right now. And so let's see what it is that the cards have for Aquarius today. And thank you so much, Spirit Guides, for overseeing this reading for Aquarius. And this is you. The Empress, that abundance, that creativity, this emerging out of you, you're giving birth uh, to yourself, Aquarius. What that is, you're taking a step back because you've been gestating your own new energy, your no, own personal um, transformation, and you're giving birth to that new aspect of your own creation. And if that's what is making everything so fertile and abundant around you. And that waterfall is signaling that in connection with that power of creation and that watery creation within our emotions. And what is challenging this empress is the sun. Well, the sun, that clarity is shining on the empress. And that also is showing uh, the sense of you see how this inner child is looking back to the, to the um, empress. And the empress is looking forward. There's this new birth coming, Aquarius. As I was saying, you're giving birth to yourself, and this is you, riding in on your instinctual horse. That passion, that drive, that horsepower that gives us life to shine to grow, to heal, to be happy. So this is amazing for my Aquarius. And <clears throat> what, what is it, the foundation? Why is the Empress in the sun? I mean, that is amazing. <clears throat> the Hermit, another major arcana. Well, at the foundation, there is a time that you've been deeply introspecting and understanding that power of creation within you and tapping into your higher power, that interconnected field that we're all a part of. And that is where the source of our abundance comes from, of this inner star within us, the sun. And that brings out that new life. We're giving a birth out of this hermit, out of this lantern, we're giving birth to that star, Aquarius. And you're following that. That's you in that lantern. And the abundance and harvest that is coming out of this rebirth, this new birth, this new way of seeing your life through the lens of happiness and abundance and love. And it's taken you a lot of deep introspection, self-knowledge, going for these higher wisdoms of philosophy, seeing uh, the following that inner star, that inner path. Because 
Wow, the Hierophant. You are in the recent past, having followed that inner guidance, uh, looked for someone who you really trusted and valued their um, advice. And you have been working in the recent past about making a commitment. It could be, since he's pointing up, um, could be a commitment to God, to a, a higher belief system, to your true purpose and destiny, uh, which you might be doing in a traditional manner. And that was what you have been creating recently, Aquarius. Something to do with marriage or a connection that is a very sacred, fulfilling your true um, initiation because you've got the Ace of Wands coming, a new idea, a new passion, a new creation, because this is energy to create. It's the match that lights up this sun. It is this <clears throat> lantern of self-discovery and wisdom where you take all of the traditional ways of knowing within our culture, society, belief systems, and you combine that uh, through this filter of awareness, uh, through this energy to uh, self-actualize, and you're bringing that out, some, something new you're giving birth to. Uh, it could be an actual child, but it's more like you're giving birth to something that's very significant spiritually, with a lot of intelligence and wisdom. And you um, have had to stand your ground and defend this and take that one wand. You see how this is the wounded warrior. And he's been defending this one wand, knowing. See how the one you're holding on to, you're going to use this spark to keep going. You're almost there. The nine of wands is saying you persevered through thick and thin. You've gone through so many life experiences, and that is what is bringing in this abundance, of this fruition, this creative uh, fertility. And you're trusting in your higher power to download what is right for you, and you're taking that energy you're getting, these intuitive uh, downloads, and you're going after this, uh, de your destiny, this castle. Where, and this is the back where she is sitting in that castle. So that's where you're headed on this horse of energy and instinctual passion toward life, the life thrust. And you see yourself as the two of wands having um, planned and put out this energetic force. You're going from the one to the two. So you start with an idea, Aquarius. And this idea has led to, well, you planned, you worked on something, you uh, developed it enough to where you have one firmly established on your castle wall, and now you want to take this out. You've been standing up and defending your position. And <clears throat> then you've got the Page of Wands. And there's that Ace of Wands again that this page is taking forward with um, enthusiasm, energy, adventure, travel. Your fire has been lit, this idea, you want to take it out, and that's the influence of uh, your environment, or people around you, or someone you're dealing with is moving forward, initiating a new project, taking it out further, seeing what can de be developed, and the hope and fear is uh, the Four of Wands, that you will be able to celebrate uh, this victory, this coming uh, to a rite of passage. It could be the uh, hierophant, the announcement of a marriage or of a new commitment, uh, a happy home that you've been passionately uh, going toward. And you're coming home to celebrate this victory. And you, this is you in the garden of celebration, abundant, and the sun is shining clarity on this reading for you, Aquarius. This is very powerful and fortuitous and um, giving this sense of this movement into a whole new a destiny for you, something you've never experienced before. And there's the star as the advice, be the star. And you have the hermit here 
having followed the star Aquarius. You're blending from the earth and from your unconscious mind of dreams, of intuition, and you're blending and making this uh, an amazing uh, painting of this story is unfolding. And there's a lot of celebration uh, coming in of whatever this project you've been working on, that you got this idea and it came and you worked on it and you're taking it out and it's leading to abundance, beauty, more creation. And you're gonna shine and be recognized and inspire others, Aquarius. And that energy of the star is gonna bring your uh, faith is renewed in your energetic process in being that uh, creator of your own beauty and destiny and the ability to love and receive love from that higher power as well. Wow, such a powerful reading. I, I don't even know if we need any clarity on this Aquarius. <clears throat> so beautiful, so amazing. So Aquarius, you start on this journey at this moment of this question right now, uh, on your throne of abundance, of the image of receptivity, receiving these downloads, um, going deep into uh, that reservoir of uh, creative energy, that crystal palace within your own body, where everything evolves out of the spiritual connection and the sun is um, the a challenge, but the sun is this a clarity to see this clearly and you will appear. You have not allowed that sun to shine on you and now you are and you're having a whole rebirth, Aquarius, around this energy you brought today. And it's going to be very successful and make you very happy and wealthy and abundant, fruitful, <clears throat> full of love and optimism and health and abundance. And at the foundation, out of your field of awareness, you have been doing this deep inner work, this deep following of your own star and um, having to uh, crush the serpent you see at the foot, um, step on those uh, seductive energies that t try to take us off the path, Aquarius, but you're leading the way and you, are trusting in your higher power to take in the sacred knowledge that we are given um, as we come as spirits coming into this physical form and we're knowing those traditional uh, values and then we're having our own personal encounter with those and that's leading to this whole new awareness almost like an uh, awakening a spontaneous awakening to this light, to this beauty, to this love. And you, you have, now you have to defend that position. Stand for that. Be that warrior and take that ace of wands, the one you've chosen, Aquarius, and take that energy. You picked it out of all of these you've been working on for maybe nine years. And take that ace and then you're working on it now. That's how you see the Empress. You know the Empress is there within you. But you're having to work on something, plan it, do the actual energetic steps and action plan to allow that environment to push your energies out and bring something back. So there's this, you put something out, Aquarius, like on the internet, on the World Wide Web, and suddenly you're connecting like we are here in this moment Aquarius to this energy and that's going to bring you success and a look at all those following you you will have an amazing following that will bring you both success but also a sense of security and contentment enjoyment um, celebration and you are the star Aquarius it's very fortuitous when you get your uh, the star in Aquarius reading because that is you Aquarius rule the star or the star rules Aquarius 
and you're the water bearer. So you're bearing this deep, a transformative energy of happiness, of love, of abundance, <clears throat> of fulfillment. And that is coming uh, for my Aquarius. And you have worked hard for this. You've stood up for this. You've defended your true identity. And that's what is coming into fruition. And let's see what it is that you need to uh, take from this reading. Uh, this is a very special reading to really reflect on each of these cards because uh, you are <clears throat> coming into a time of shining, of brilliance, of healing, and healing all of those old wounds that now the sun, because when the sun shines on our, it heals us. Whatever is there in the shadows, it's healing because there is the earth is wanting the 24, that could be six, that's a, a sign of victory, success. And you're, it's like the Empress, this is the card of the Empress because it's saying uh, this activates our deep connection to this physical plane. As we're moving and changing timelines, we still need to be grounded to all the beauty here, Aquarius. I know we wanna fly um, into this cosmic, uh, connection we have, but we're here to um, see all the beauty and the aspects of our great mother, the earth itself, and reveal the more ethereal, spiritual aspects of our nature within the earth. And that's what you're sharing right now. You're dynamic. And that was 23, and that was 24. That's interesting. And this is an incredible energy to focus on for a moment and enter into that spiral that draws you in and that sense of the triangle of three something dynamic changing moving and this is um going to happen this helping us to have different um frequencies moving through us and then put together all of these vibrations to create a whole new a reality that you're moving into as a, the star. And that's what I have for my beautiful Aquarius. And if you like the way I read, again, please subscribe. Just right now, click the button. And so it is. And you know I love you, and we're in this interconnected field of going into these of portals of energy, of creation itself, of the earth of coming back to life in a new form, innocent, full of uh, this creative energy to inspire others, to heal, to grow, and to uh, shine. See you next time. Bye-bye.